So the first topic is, are you looking for help with learning difficulties? How can we assist you or your family? You frequently see children in primary school who have one or more challenges, and it might be highlighted in their school report or their school consultation. So in primary school, we've already got problems. We've got children who are struggling with homework. We've got reluctant readers who really don't want to read. And if they do read, they've got very little understanding of punctuation or the meaning of what they're reading. We've got people with poor handwriting, people who have difficulty forming letters. You get lots of crossing out and misspellings and all those sorts of things. And you get a very short attention span and lack of confidence and they can't sit still and they're very stressed. So up to the age of, we've already seen this before the age of seven, and it carries on in primary school, which in the UK is up to the age of 11. So you've got children in school who are really not happy, they're frustrated and they're exhausted with this stress. So how many children do you know who are like this? Then they move on to secondary school and the thing gets worse. They're struggling to learn, remembering information. They've got big challenges with revision and exams. They're disinterested in learning. They're demonstrating a variety of avoidance techniques, which might be, I want to chat to my friends, I want to, I'm going to go and play sport, I'm going to do something else than actually do any of this learning stuff. By this time, normally letters and numbers are actually moving on the page. And this is a really interesting phenomenon because most people don't even realise that they're doing that. They have, been they have been living with letters and numbers moving on the page so long, they don't realise that this doesn't happen with other people. If they copy down from the board, it's slow and inaccurate. They get a complete disinterest in reading. And I have to say, I've, I can relate to this one because I never read a book for interest until I was the age of 35. So I missed all those kids' books in school that my kids have been, had the pleasure of reading. I missed out completely. Massive confusion and organising thoughts. And they, then, they, of course, they get disaffected with school and they're even to be, being truant. And, of course, by this time, they've probably been assessed with having various learning difficulties. Then we get into adult life. Further education is a challenge. And if they do do further education, they're going to need a lot of support. And I've met many parents who, when they have their first child, are feeling really bad about the fact they can't read to them. That's one of the crunch points that people often go, I think I need some help with doing something about this. And of course, they can't help them with their homework, and they'll probably try avoiding going anywhere near a child doing their homework. Keeping your job might be a nightmare, and you get even more confusion. And all this, at the same time, as having some exceptional skills. And so there's, there's these two aspects of this going on, is one which is very confusing and one which is um, exceptional skills. And according to the Department of Education, many of those things I've been talking about are associated with dyslexia, but they don't have to be. So you've got this very confused person here who's got masses and masses of stuff going on in and above their head. They can't um, concentrate. And down here on the planet, when they're being asked to concentrate in class, they really are trying to do something else. 